Millions of dollars are going to be going over to the University of Maryland School of Medicine, helping to fund research to develop a preventative vaccine for HIV AIDS. The governor had a consortium has uh, pledged more than $23 million to the school, and the grants are going to help fund clinical testing of what's being called groundbreaking work. Here in Maryland, the tragedy of the AIDS epidemic is something that um, has hit us hard, and there's no way to sugarcoat it. Our state is ranked, even though we're ranked number one in terms of the percentage of PhDs, we're number four in terms of uh, AIDS cases that are reported and in terms of reported rates. So the funding comes from a number of resources, including the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation and the U.S. Army's Military HIV Research Program. And tonight's medical alert, some new funding puts Baltimore at the forefront of the fight against HIV and AIDS. Today, the University of Maryland's Institute of Human Virology announced it received more than $23 million in grants to help find a vaccine. Maryland is ranked fourth in the nation for reported cases of HIV and AIDS. 18,000 Marylanders have died from it, and more than 29,000 residents are now living with the disease. Despite the long road ahead, the governor says our state may be the best equipped to find a cure. Perhaps uh, we are that archetypal wounded healer in a way, Baltimore and Maryland. Perhaps it is somehow in our uh, chosen course to be that force that discovers a cure for this terrible disease. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation donated 16 of the $23 million. The money will fund clinical trials of a potential vaccine that was developed here in Baltimore. Exciting news in medical research, a possible vaccine to prevent HIV and AIDS. Pat Warren reports its promising development at the University of Maryland School of Medicine is a ray of hope in many lives. Scott Key, a name he says he's proud to carry, is HIV positive. What did that do to you? It was like, it was like the death of me. It was like I had a cloud over my face, over my head. I didn't want to hear nothing from nobody. Use drugs all the time. Out of the despair of the present comes hope for the future. Researchers at the University of Maryland Institute for Human Virology are making progress on an HIV AIDS vaccine. Today we are on the verge of a major breakthrough in the fight against HIV AIDS. A fight that has come with uh, a particular ferociousness and uh, speed to this very place, the original land of the free and home of the brave of Baltimore, Maryland. It's been a fight for Francis Scott Key. I think that uh, being in this situation and wanting to be accepted from other human beings is a hard struggle for me. Chase Brexton Health Services in Mount Vernon provides medical care and treatment for people who have HIV, medication that's been steadily improving. Most people don't have side effects these days. A preventive vaccine is the next big thing. More than $23 million in grant money has been awarded to the Institute of Human Virology to make that quantum leap. In the beginning, it was a struggle. Now is, is, is a way of life. Nearly 17 million of the 23 and a half million dollars in grant money comes from the Bill and Melissa Gates Foundation. The gratitude is immeasurable. Reporting from the Institute of Human Virology in downtown Baltimore, I'm Pat Warren. Now back to you on Television Hill. Grant money was also awarded by the U.S. Army Military HIV Program and the National Institutes of Health.